Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com. Now today I've got a workflow tip that will make your life just a little bit easier if you're new to AutoCAD or Civil 3D. We'll be looking at viewports and how we can use them in model space without losing track of where we are in a big project. Let's take a look. So I've got this gigantic project right here where we're showing all of these existing buildings and if you look closely we've got the addresses for all the units within these buildings. Now what we needed to do within this project is we need to list all of the addresses for each building and the building square footage. So if you can see I mean we we've got this gigantic site right and it can be very easy to lose track of where I am. So as I'm filling this chart out, I don't want to have to pan around every single time I go from building to building. You know, after a while it just gets kind of tedious of panning back and forth and zooming in and out. So the way that I get around that is I use viewports to my advantage. So if I type in viewports, now we're in model space, keep that in mind. And what I do is I'll usually go with just two vertical viewports. Click OK. And now what I can do is I can zoom in on a particular area right here. Okay, I've got, uh, oh, let's look at see this building right here and I can zoom in on my chart I can double click in here this is just M text right here so so I'll wait for that to pop up hit enter type in 2430-2434 Okay, that's our property address. Now I need to add in our square footage of the building. So I look over here in the properties. I've got an area of 4134. I'll just round that off to 4134. Double click on that to get the M text box. Add a comma in there, and we're good to go. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3Dtraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.